Hello ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today uh, I'm just going to do a little quick video on uh, how to fix the iPhone 6 Plus whenever you have uh, an unresponsive screen. Um, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a kind of a uh, prevalent issue with the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, a few months ago mine uh, went unresponsive. I didn't really know what to do with it. Tried, you know, resetting it, restoring it, all of that stuff didn't work. And uh, so I just started messing around with it and, um, you know, found a quick fix for it. This isn't a permanent fix, but it is something that, you know, if your screen isn't working, um, this is a, it's a good chance that, you know, this will fix it. So uh, just so that you can use it. Now, let me say this. If you're, if you're still under warranty with your iPhone, I wouldn't, you know, recommend to continue to do this. Um, because you know Apple will replace it for free or repair it for free um, if you're not if you don't have warranty on it you know to get it fixed it is going to cost you a couple hundred bucks so um, if you don't have that couple hundred bucks you may need to do this for a little bit until you can afford to get it fixed or um, you know get you a new phone or whatever but let me see here so let's take a look uh, and as you can see at the top uh, my screen is doing it just installed iOS 10 yesterday but uh, let me see right now it's working so let me see if I can get it to not work alright so there we go we got the screen flickering and when it flickers you can't really do anything with it as you know some people's screen is flickering non-stop and mine was originally um, but you know as I played with it and stuff like that you know this kind of uh, went away um, but basically let me show you what I did um, so Basically, on the iPhone, there's a little uh, sensor under the screen, probably in this upper area, where the screen gets connected to, you know, the, the logic board or whatever. Uh, if you're not trying to open your phone and fix that, then, you know, this is a, the fix for you. Uh, basically, what you'll want to do is apply some sort of pressure in this area, uh, and normally, and you can see it's not working right now so normally what I would do is push on the back like up in the corner and it may take it may take some extra pressure it doesn't always work right away and actually mine um, mine uh, got worse because you know I said this happened in May and I was just waiting for the iPhone 7 to come out. So uh, I didn't want to pay for a repair. I didn't want to buy a new one. Um, got my iPhone 7 coming in at the end of the month. So I just wanted to wait it out. And I figured this out. And I just, anytime that happens, I, I, I press on the back. Get, get some uh, pressure there. And normally it, it, it will respond. You may have to do it a couple times. You may have to um, press on the front a little bit maybe. But the general idea is to get pressure in this area over in here. And um, you know that should, that should normally get it responding again. But um, yeah, like I said, this is a temporary fix. It's not something that you're going to want to do uh, as a permanent fix or it won't permanently fix it because the issue is the sensor under the screen um, it's either a short or a, a disconnected cable or something like that let me also say this uh, if you have liquid damage on your phone this is not going to help um, so if, if you've gotten liquid in your phone or any type of uh, extreme damage to your phone like it's been dropped or anything like that this probably is not going to even help um, this is really for people who just one day their phone their screen just stopped responding so 
uh, you really just want to um, try this if that's the case if not try something else you know what I mean you may need to get a new phone or get it repaired um, so just wanted to share this uh, because I know there's a lot of people who actually have this issue and I, I wouldn't be surprised if sometime soon Apple doesn't do some sort of recall for this uh, iPhone 6 plus screen issue because uh, it's pretty prevalent with the iPhone 6 plus but thanks for watching and subscribe please